Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. We've come all the way to Dortmund for the Europa League game, but I'm here and I still can't get my head off the Premier League. We're sitting second in the table, five points behind Leicester, three points ahead of Arsenal, and all I could think to do whilst I'm here in Dortmund, as well as watch the Europa League game, is predict where Spurs are going to finish. How I've done this is by taking all the games into account, how many points we're going to get from each one, and then also trying to work out in my own mind what points the other teams are going to get around us as well. And at the end of this, I'm going to tell you the league table that is my prediction for the end of the season. So let's get started. So we've got nine games left, and the first two are Aston Villa away this coming Sunday and Bournemouth at home. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking we're going to roll Aston Villa over easily. I don't think that's going to be the case. We're going to have been a bit tired from the Dortmund game, and Villa are fresh. They got whopped 4-0 last time. They're going to want to bounce back. However, I do think we're going to get three points from this game. I just think it's going to be tough. Might even be nil-nil at halftime. It will be very tight. However, I don't think they're going to have much to, struggle, uh, to trouble us with up front. So I think we might nick it 1-0, 2-1 or 3-1, something like that. Bournemouth at home after that. Again, I think we'll get three points, but it won't be easy. They play a nice brand of football, but the reason why I think we'll get three points is they won't sit back and put 11 men behind the ball. They like to play good football, and I think that'll open up the spaces for us. So, six points from our next two games. Good start. The next two games are absolutely massive. Liverpool away and Manchester United at home. For Liverpool away, I think we're going to get a draw, probably a score draw, one all or two all. Both teams will press each other, get loads of men around the ball, and both teams have talent enough to score goals. However, I think neither team will want to lose that game. I know that sounds like a cliche, and it is a cliche, but I do think that'll end up a draw. So one point for Spurs in that one. Man United at home, the full three points. They're missing players. They should still be missing Wayne Rooney around then. He usually does well against us. And let's face it, even at Old Trafford, the first day of the season, only three days after we played in the Munich Cup Friendly Festival uh, in Germany, we outplayed them that day. And I think we can outplay them at the lane, take three points, and keep our championship challenge on track. The next two matches are going to be tough, scrappy affairs. Stoke away and West Bromwich Albion at home. Stoke away is a horrible place to go. Lots of the big clubs have been beaten there this season. So I'm saying we're going to get a draw. I might, we might even get beat there, but I'm saying we're going to get a draw. I think we've got enough quality to score against them. Also, they're a lot more kind of, they play better football these days. So they're not just going to be 11 men behind the ball like they may have used to have been in a Tony Pulis era. So I'm going to say a point there. But then West Brom at home. Tony Pulis coming to the lane, he will stack 11 behind the ball and we're going to have to be patient and open them up, maybe try and score a goal from a set piece and make sure the game then gets opened up because if we go too long with 11 men behind the ball not scoring goals, that will become a difficult game. However, I think we've got enough in our locker to win three points there. So four points from those two games. They're not going to be easy, but they're important points to get. That brings us to the last three games of the season. Squeaky bum time, as Sir Alex Ferguson called it. The last three games for us are Chelsea away, Southampton at home and Newcastle away. Starting with Chelsea at the bridge, I'm sorry, it's tough to say, but I can't see us getting anything. Zero points. That's my prediction. I'd love us to get a point. It would be amazing if we could, but I think they will just absolutely adore trying to put some kind of nail in our title challenge. They'd love to try and derail it. And I think that's what will happen for only probably the third or fourth time this season. I think their big players will come up to the plate and they'll try and get a, a win as much as they can. That'll be a tough one. Zero points. Southampton at home. Ronald Koeman will bring his players along. They'll play nice football. They'll keep it tight. Van Dijk had a horror show against us at St Mary's. So he'll want to put that right. And he's had a great season pretty much apart from that. However, I think under pressure after maybe having not got a great result against Chelsea, we'll do everything to get a win in that one. And I've got us down for three points at home to Southampton, just like last year where we won 1-0 from a Christian Eriksen strike. I think we'll sneak this one as well. That leads us to the last game away, St James's Park. The Geordies will be in a relegation dogfight. We'll be going for the title, hopefully. And let's face it, history says when Newcastle are under pressure and they've got to deliver, they very rarely do. They collapse like a deck of cards and I can see nothing different. Harry Kane notching there just like last year. Three points of Spurs and that will be the end of our season. So, how many points have we accrued? So, my prediction is that in the last nine games of the Premier League season, Spurs will get 20 points, leaving us with a grand total of 74 points. Now, as I said at the beginning, I've also gone through the last fixtures of all the top seven to see how that league table will end up. And let me tell you, this is what I think will happen based on those predictions. In seventh place with 57 points are Liverpool. 
In sixth place, with 58 points, just one point ahead of them, are Man United. They'll get the bragging rights up there in the northwest. In fifth place, with 60 points, a West Ham just missing out on the Champions League spots. In fourth place, and this might surprise some people, Woolwich, 67 points, a tough run in for them. In third place, Leicester on 71 points. I've got them falling away, not quite making the grade. In second place, our team on 73 points, Manchester City, and I've actually got us to win the league with 74 points. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. I'm thinking it as well. Is he jinxing it? Can he even say that? I don't even want to admit it out loud. It's too scary a prospect. But I've genuinely gone through all those fixtures and tried to be as honest as I think I can be in terms of how those predictions results will be. Obviously, it's been a crazy Premier League season. Those results won't happen as they are in my mind, but also games where I expect teams to win may not happen as well. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm scared to say it, but it could happen. It could really happen. Please, get behind the boys. Get the atmosphere up at every game. Support them, home and away. Let's get the boys as close as we can to this possibility of a real title coming to Spurs. Anyway, guys, that has been my last nine games Premier League predictions. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV, and come on you Spurs all the way from Dortmund. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Tottenham have just lost 3-0 to Borussia Dortmund. Uh, incredible stadium, amazing night in lots of ways. Uh, Mauricio Pochettino picked, I, I can only best describe it as a reserve team. We 